Welcome to Live, Love, Engage, the podcast where we share practical advice from a spiritual perspective on how to create a life and business with more impact, influence, and income. I am your host, Gloria Grace Rand, the insightful copywriter and founder of The Love Method. My mission is to help you stop doubting yourself so you can live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically. Namaste and welcome, welcome to another edition of Live, Love, Engage. And I am delighted to be with you and to bring on somebody, a guest today who is... First of all, my friend, she's a former coach of mine and just an all around amazing individual. And I'm going to bring her in, see if I can do this. There she is. I want to introduce to you and welcome Sharon Ada Pollock to Live, Love, Engage. Hey there. How are you, Gloria? It's so nice to finally be on Live, Love, Engage. I'm excited. Thanks. Oh, I am delighted to have you, and um, we're going to have an interesting discussion today, I know, because Sharon Anna is going to be talking about a subject that is near and dear to her heart. But first off, let me introduce you to those of you who don't know her. I can't believe you haven't heard of her yet, but you will now. So let me tell you, Sharon Anna has been working with women and their families to get them out of stress and into success for more than 10 years as a transformational life coach and energy healer. And she's now converted a side passion into a full-time business of creating jewelry and accessories that help you look and feel beautiful while living safer and healthier in a digital age. And the name of the company, which she has right up there, is Corellia Creations. And the I think part of the... Inst- er, what led to this jewelry thing, but you can correct me if I'm not wrong, is your passion for educating people about the dangers of environmental electronic stress. So I, you had a lot more in your bio that I decided I'm going to let you (laughs) tell your story. So why are you so passionate about um, radiation and electronic sensitivity and, and, and some of the really the harmful effects it can have on people? Wow, that's such a loaded question. (laughs) (laughs) So um, I'm so grateful to be here and to share the message because I have been speaking about it like, you know, as a side hustle, I should say, I could say for at least, you know, probably seven years. And, um, but yet I, I have personally been affected by it from at least the last 22 years of my life. And I started speaking about it before a lot of people even knew what I was talking about. They thought I kind of like was that weird tinfoil hat person out there (laughs) who on stages talking like what 200 people, 300 people. And people were, you know, aghast at, wow, I never thought about this, you know, seven years, six years ago because um, people weren't talking about it at all. And I was like that person with two heads on my shoulder. But it's okay because it's why I'm here. And what happened to me and the reason I got into this was because my first husband many years ago, which was 20, 21 years ago to, um, yeah, 21 years ago, he passed away with a glioblastoma brain tumor. And, um, and you know, he left me with my one-year-old son and we didn't have insurance. We didn't have anything. We were just, you know, how did this happen? You know, he was in his thirties, low thirties, was healthy, vibrant, worked out, you know, was, didn't drink, didn't smoke, you know, drink occasionally. And, um, we were just, you know, young and starting our lives off. And, and, you know, he was diagnosed in one month and then, you know, three to four months later, he was gone. And that was it. Yeah. And, you know, his dying breath was what to see his son's first birthday. And, you know, he made it there. And that was the end of that. So the interesting thing is, is that he was an electrician Mm -hmm. and he was surrounded by electromagnetic fields. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, you know, of course, we didn't understand this back then. You know, we were on beepers back then. (laughs) (laughs) You know, we didn't have, um, you know, all the technology we have today. 
Mm -hmm. And, you know, and, and raising our children and our babies on this technology, just, it just ch chills me to the bone. So fast forward to, I guess, in 2014, 2013 to 2014, I was in my office and I've been speaking about this as my story and this is how I got into it. So in 2014, 13, I started getting headaches in my office. Mm. And I built an office off my bedroom and I started getting headaches in my office and, um, and I didn't understand like what's going on. Well, somebody introduced me to, you know, they're like, oh, the EMS and, you know, in the meantime, back, you know, I guess I've been an energy healer, you know, the whole time <laughs> and I understand energy and I understand, you know, in life coaching and creating all these programs for children and adults, you getting them out of stress and into success, like we said before. So it's mm. like, you know, having that clear path in me was very important and having a big mouth too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was like, okay, what was my mission here? Is my mission shifting? I don't understand, but all I know is that I'm getting headaches in my office. I don't like this feeling. I need a clean, clear health here. And I would never get headaches ever. It was just like really strange to me. So, <clears throat> and the inability to focus and the fatigue by the afternoon was just incredible. Hmm. Right? So but my office was small. I had, it's probably like a, maybe in a, what, a nine by nine area, something like that is very small. And um, <clears throat> maybe not even eight by eight, something like that. So I had in there, you know, my monitors, I had a, I, I thought, you know, at that time having a, um, I wasn't really using my cell phone as much at that time, but I was using you know, the, the um, wireless phone, because I thought it was better than mm -hmm. you know, using a Wi-Fi. But yet I had my monitor, I had my monitors, my printer, wireless printer in there. I was loaded, man. I was loaded with technology. And the <laughs> biggest thing is in this little tiny office where right behind my desk was my monitor. I mean, my Wi-Fi router. Oh, yeah. And I built this great little office off my bedroom, which was an extension of our patio. So we had two walls that were cement um, cement walls, you know, cement brick. And then all we had to do was put one little, you know, wall across it. So I just had to close it in. I'm like, this is a perfect space for me to have my quiet space and do healings and everything, right? I mean, that is. So I get this micro, so this microwave, of, so this microwave oven effect is going on. I didn't even know it, right? Mm -hmm. And so she's like, so this person comes to me and she's like, listen, I think you're full of radiation. And you need to really, you know, you're, you're surrounded by technology in your little office and it's time to just see what's going on. So I put on, you know, the Shungite rocks and, you know, I learned about the EMF protection. And literally by that evening, I was in a complete sweat warrior. I was like a fever and everything. Well, mm -hmm. she's, I call her up and I'm like, I gotta get this off of me. This is ridiculous. She goes, no, you have to leave it on for at least three days. I'm like, ah, I gotta get it off. <laughs> 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 and so p.s i was so full of radiation and my body was releasing these toxins out of my body mm -hmm. so at that point i never had any more any more fatigue in my office i didn't have any more headaches in my office i'm like man this stuff works great well needless to say I started putting two and two together, looking into EMS and understanding what was going on. And that's when I realized that back in the 1980s, when my husband, or 1990s, that's when I found out that electricians had the highest rate of brain tumors per occupation than all other occupations. Wow. And, and that was back then, before cell phones, hmm. before all this. And the glioblastoma brain tumor that that killed him in you know three to four months, he was gone. Mm -hmm. The same tumor today that that is one of the highest risk of children that creates death in children, hmm. and and it's brain tumors actually all brain tumors, but there's no cure for it today. And right. children and adults, it's one of the largest kill, you know brain tumors that they get today. So because their brains aren't formed hmm. anyway. So that's my story, and then of course add on to that story. Needless to say, I know it's a long story, but I'm shortening it because I can't. <laughs> What happened now, only a couple months ago in April, I was diagnosed with my own brain tumor that was five centimeters and which was the size of a plum pushing all my brains to the sun. Aye. And it was devastating to everybody. And I was like, you know, what a story. Well, that was what was happening in 20, 
14, we realized after we took, took the numbers, because it was growing at 18% growth rate, those numbers said that that's when it began, um, it was at one centimeter. So at that point in time, in 2013, 14, it was one centimeter giving me headaches. Well, mm -hmm. that time, that Wi-Fi router was put in my office in 2010, that tumor began growing roundabouts in 2011. Mm -hmm. So I created a microwave oven in my office and I did not even know it. Mm -hmm. And I am so blessed and I, that I was spared that I did not have cancer. I was spared that I did not have a glio. I was spared that I don't have throat cancer or any of these other things that everybody else has. But I know I have been affected and I always knew I was highly sensitive to electromagnetic fields mm -hmm. and the sensitivity. And that's what I wanted to share. Wow. And, and I, it's so a couple things <laughs> that are co coming to mind here. I mean, number one is the fact that, you know, you had someone who gave you some ideas about how to be able to, you know, sort of purge these toxins, which probably then slowed down. I, it, it seems like it slowed down the growth of that tumor so that because otherwise it could have gotten a lot worse, a lot faster. Right. I don't is, think so. it? No, no, the surgeon said, and, and the report said that it had an 18% growth rate. Oh. That type, I had a type two meningeal uh, brain tumor, hmm. which means it wasn't exactly in the brain. It was between the skull and the brain. Oh, okay. And so in the, in the membrane area. Hmm. So that it wasn't a type one, which could be there for like birth. This oh, was okay. a faster growing tumor hmm. growing at 18% growth rate. And so hmm. that's why I said, when we did the numbers and we even asked him, the neurosurgeon, I'm like, well, when do you think it happened? Oh, probably about 10 years ago. Is when it hmm. started. So it didn't stop the growth, but what it did was it helped the Shanghai and everything I've been wearing and, and, and selling for all these years. It helped me to relieve my symptoms. Ah, okay. And that's right. what was great. No headaches, no fatigue, gotcha. you know, until the very end, I've had a lot of, you know, other challenges. Right. Was, you know, this year and stuff like that in the past year. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Um, but you've been mentioning something that not everybody listening to this is probably aware of. And you, you and I, I know, I know you, I have this stuff in my home because you've enlightened me on it. So explain what is Shungite and, and why you're, you use this and, and what, what benefits it has for people. Okay, so Shungite is an amazing, amazing stone. It has to, it's the only place that it's truly found is in Russia. And when I, you know, so I found out how powerful this was because what it does is it carries the an electric, electric frequency in it, which is a perfect electronic frequency. It's the carbon 60 molecule, the C60 molecule, which is, which is the Epcot ball. It's shaped like the Epcot ball. And that's why it's so powerful. The Epcot ball is considered the molecule of the 21st century because they use the C60 molecule, they create the C60 molecule in science, they use it in, in space, they use it in like everyday technology. This is so powerful because they can fill it with nano, um, uh, I think it's called nano, I'm sorry, yeah. I apologize. <laughs> nano, nano, um, it's, it's nano science and they fill it with all different types of, it's a carrier, so it carries electronic electro, uh, electrodes and um you know they fill it up and they carry it back and forth i apologize you know i still have some little bit of um, this is my first podcast <laughs> since everything since i have my brain cut open okay <laughs> you're doing fine don't worry about it yeah it's thank, all right. you, thank you google, Anyhow, it, folks. <laughs> yeah, google it google it because you will find so much information on the c60 molecule and how it carries and you know particles you know particles is what they're called yeah so Shungite, which is this rock here, which I'm holding in on a podcast, you can't see it, but it looks like coal. And when, it, even though it looks like coal, but the C60 molecule is between coal, there's a C60 molecule, the highest frequency of that is a diamond. So this is smack dab in the middle. And that's why it's, and it, since it's round, it bounces all over the place and it can become this carrier. When you take it, a little flashlight, such as this one, which works, normal as a flashlight, you know you have shungite because when you undo the flashlight, oh, I'm hoping it works on this one. Oh, actually, yeah, oh, here we go. It will actually light the flashlight with the back of it off, okay? So when you put it back on, 
you know, it, so it carries its own electrical frequency, which is very, very powerful. Therefore, it's creating and restoring harmony in our body and healing our body the same way in grounding our body for what it is that we're missing every single day as the electromagnetic fields are stripping our body mm-hmm. every single day that we're wearing electronics. What's really cool, and I know I've done this for you and I've done it for many other people, is I show them how the cell phone affects their body. And probably 90% of people within two minutes, like within a 30 second test, you can see how it weakens the body. And people are like, whoa. And then I show them holding the Shanghai a bracelet or a sticker, like we just put these stickers on your cell phone. And when you put the sticker on your cell phone, you find out how powerful it neutralizes the radiation on the spot because it creates this neutral field around you. Mm -hmm. So now you're in a clean field at all times, which is amazing. So this is why I wear and I create all this amazing jewelry and I create, you know, we have pyramids, you know, and we have all different types of things that we, we carry. So that way you can have this in your home, in your office, and to be aware of what's going on around it. And you can feel the difference because it creates and establishes harmony when there's disharmony in your body or around you. Hmm. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Yes. Thank you very much for that. I I appreciate that. Um, How you've you've talked a little bit about, you know, your personal experience, but let's maybe broaden out a little bit. How can uh, people tell whether technology is really affecting their health? What other types of symptoms do do you know of or are aware of? Well, there's a lot of, there's a huge bucket list of symptoms Mm -hmm. that you know, every day, you know, people are finding more and more, especially with 5G, because the 5G is so much like thousand times, many times stronger, thousands times stronger than like 4G, 3G, G, 2G. Mm-hmm. And um, and so as we're living in this field, an even longer time and find that there's more satellites going up every single day inundating our space that more and more people are finding all these different things happening to them. So like the top five areas of um, areas that are being really affected would be neurological, which can mean headaches, sleeplessness, dizziness, nausea, memory and concentration difficulties, ADD symptoms, and ability to concentrate. Um, insomnia, like I said, uh, depression and anxiety. You know, so there's, you know, a lot of numbness and tingling in the joints and things like that. So these were symptoms I've been having all along. And, you know, like when I hold my cell phone, I, I, even with my stickers on it, I still don't like to hold it in my hand because I have to have a lot of stickers for me because I'm so sensitive that I will actually over a period of time holding my cell phone over a period of time. So that's why I don't like to hold it when I'm talking on it. I will feel a burning and tingling in my hands. Hmm. If I did not have my stickers on me and I rarely ever will I ever hold it to my ear because I love technology. Mm -hmm. Even though I know it's affecting me, I know maybe it's crazy and and maybe I'm not the best advocate in the whole wide world, but I love my technology and I'm doing what I can just like everybody else. How can I make my life better? You know, by having these tools but yet being smarter using them. And I think that's the biggest thing. And until the government decides that we can do something better about this and create healthier technology, we need to you know, make sure that we're doing the best that we can as moms or, and dads and adults, teaching our children to be smart about it too. So, um, so some neurological, very important. Um, the heart, it, it, it's right at the heart. So the cardiac heart palpitations, shortness of breath, um, high blood pressure even. Like I often get a lot of flushing going on. Um, If I held this to my ear, I would get a burning and ringing in my ear. So ears are greatly affected as well. And so I want you to think about anybody who's listening to this podcast or this, you know, Facebook is to think about when you're holding a phone, what are you feeling in your body? If you're holding a laptop on your lap, what Mm. are you feeling? I could not, I would never hold one on my lap because where is it going to? Right into your genitals, right into, 
you know, the sperm counts are lowest ever. You know, testicular cancer is the highest ever, along with ovarian cancer with the youngest of ages ever. Where are they putting these cell phones in the mm. pocket? Breast cancer, don't put it in your breast. You know, won't pull, ever hold it. Mm -hmm. And if you're nursing a baby or holding a baby, please don't give it to your baby. Do not, do not, because that radiation is coming out of that phone and it is greatly, it is radiation, it's a carcinogen. And it's coming mm -hmm. out and it is true. If you want to, um, so those are, I'm, I'm kind of jumping around, thyroid <laughs> cancer, thyroid, throat. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are getting lumps in their throat. A lot of people are having problems because they're putting either Bluetooth right here or their cell phones are right here and they're talking on it. So these are the things, the eyes, discomfort in the eyes, burning in the eyes, fatigued eyes, um, you know, the blue light, especially. Mm -hmm. So um, definitely, you know, cataracts very high now more than ever. They're even finding new cancers in the eyes. Hmm. Yikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's really, really important for us to stay safe. Very, very important for us to be aware of what is happening. And I think it's what can we do to reduce it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you don't reduce it, what's going to happen? What are some things that can happen other than what we're feeling? What is it that else is that can happen? You know, it's not just really us. It's the entire environment. You know, the birds are mm -hmm. really affected. The smaller birds, especially, don't even go near the five G towers. Did you know that? And the and the bees, not only are they having a challenge, you know, we're, we're having a bee challenge to with the population of bees, and, and then, mm -hmm. you know, the busy working bee, <laughs> is that when they're around a cell phone or the Wi Fi in the five G towers, they actually cannot produce honey, and they don't work. Mm. So it's affecting, this is, it's the, it's, it's what it's doing is affecting because we're all energetic beings, right? And the right. resonance of our planet is at 7.8 Hertz mm -hmm. to eight Hertz. This 5G is literally from 30 gigahertz to 60 gigahertz. Mm. So it's kind of like, we're all living in a microwave, but we have to do the best that we can to keep ourselves safe as we can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I've heard, you know, but the problem with like the bees, when we're losing bees, that bees pollinate crops, which so if we don't have crops, then we have, you know, people going hungry because we don't have food. And it's it can really just quickly snowball into this, you know, issue where we've got you know, we're, we're just messing up our whole planet this way and, and messing up all of us and in the process. And so we've got to be able to take, take care of each other and take care of ourselves and protect each other. So talk a little bit about, um, you know, part of what we do on, on this podcast, we're aiming it for entrepreneurs and you've now gone through this process of launching a, a, a new business now in a sense, because you're doing jewelry and it's, and it is jewelry with uh, the intention of uh, helping people to protect themselves. Right. So how has that experience been of, of getting involved in uh, you know, e-commerce <laughs> as it were? Well, as for business, the best thing that I guess I should say the best thing that ever happened was, um, you know, the last year of COVID because I stopped speaking on stages and carrying all this entire, you know, of, uh, you know, 40, 50 different types of items around with, you know, so much supply and inventory, which was exhausting to events and conferences. So now I'm actually on Walmart. I'm on walmart.com, amazon.com, Etsy, of course, my own personal website, which, you know, I prefer people to go to always because we have great sales and, and get on our email list because we have some super VIP email um, offers coming up for, you know, the holidays and things like that. But, you know, so we want to take care of our customers. We want to take care of my people, our people, because we're all, you know, who who, who want to stay involved and be on top of things and, and, and to learn what's going on. Um, that's really important. So 
But for the most part, yeah, and, and pretty soon we're looking at really getting on some of the largest wholesale sites where we can really start, you know, pumping them out, you know, our products because, you know, we make everything. I employ moms and students and, and that's who's running this. That's who's, who my team is. And it's so amazing, mm-hmm. you know, to, to have these women, you know, and empowering them. And they're just so happy to be, you know, working and creating all this jewelry out of love to give them as gifts, you know, so people buy our, our jewelry and our accessories to help other people, you know, and, and it's such a great feeling to, to have this for purpose and to pass this along. And, and, you know, and, and, you know, my intention would be, you know, hopefully next year or so is just even create a signature item for brain, the, you know, the brain tumor association mm-hmm. and to get back to there, you know, we're just not there yet because, you know, so, so these are, you know, it's all, you know, of course I have big grand plans. I always have, I never played small as a business owner, you know? So it's really staying focused. I think that's the biggest thing is, you know, if there's any tip for anybody when it comes to business, I used to be all over the place, life coaching, running my coaching, energy, healing people, running the business, you know, it's like, take one thing, take one thing and do it really good. Just put all the other things to the side, take one thing and get your keyword. It's like, if you just want to maximize it, that's what you need to do. See it till it's fruition, till, till it's running its course on its own, and then take it to the next level or bring in a little another, you know, sites, you know, another um, like octopus leg as they call them. And then eventually, you know, you'll have a couple other things going, but just focus on the one thing and really do it good. Mm, very good. Um, what do you wish that you had known, like when you first started this business that, you know, when you started out that you, you know, is there something that you wish you had known then? Which, which business? Um, <laughs> you know what? Either one, either one. Is there any, any important lesson? Cause either, either one. I think my biggest lesson is really what I just told you is mm-hmm. because I always bounced around a lot, you know, Mm-hmm. because I get so passionate about helping so many people and it was so easy to get off track. And, um, you know, even with technology, you know, I am not a guru in technology, but, you know, I have my partner who been my business partner who is great with technology. So it's like, if you're good at one thing, you'd be good at that one thing. And then bring somebody in that you can know, like, and trust and work with to have them focus on that one thing. If it's technology, that's really good. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to always be struggling. I've cried many times in my office <laughs> because I, I couldn't do the technology myself. I didn't know how to do it. I'm not that person. I'm a, I'm a talker. I'm a sales. I'm a marketing. I'm, you know, I, I, you know I, I love being with people. I'm a people yeah. person, right? And then yeah. you have, I'm an extrovert. You need the introverts who are on the other end. And that's where they shine. So let people shine and do what they do and always be there to help others. You know, that's awesome. a huge tip. You yeah. know, do you, have, do you have time for another tip for people for this technology? That you yes. Have? Yes, we can okay. do it. We can do one more. So um, I just have five ways that, you know, I would like to, you know, end this with five ways for people to really help themselves to reduce EMF exposure which would be, you know, definitely don't do like I did. Just, <laughs> and if you're going to learn anything from me, don't do what I did, okay? <laughs> which is don't put your Wi-Fi router near your office or anybody's bedroom ever. Always sit at least, you know, 15 feet from it, at least, you know, put it on the other side of the room. Don't ever, I, I do not believe in, in those mesh systems, the ones that take over your, the nest and all those things that take over your entire home, mm. because you will never have a moment when you're not in a Wi-Fi area. Yeah. You know, I do have Wi-Fi in my home. I will admit it, but it's not the greatest. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and I'm happy for that. And, you know, we have half of our house is hardwired with our computers and the other half is not. So I used to have the Wi-Fi in my bedroom. I could not sleep at night. I had heart palpitations. I was all over the place. It's not in my bedroom anymore. Don't ever, that's probably the third thing is you'll never put the cell phones in your bedroom. Get Mm. yourself a clock radio. It's okay. You still (laughs) sell them, you know. (laughs) 
And, um, and let's see, most importantly, you know, don't put in your pockets if you're not protected. Protect yourself, you know, protect your children, um, you know, and know that the babies, babies and their children are so affected. So really take good care of your babies and your children if you love them. Don't put them on technology, especially if they're not protected or just, you know, think about, do your research, do something, you know, you can come to my website, you can get some more things from Shanghai or wherever it is that you want to go, you know, call, you know, you can email me, ask me questions. I'll be happy, but do your research and do what it is that you can do to keep you and your loved ones safe. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much for sharing all of your wisdom today and, and helping to uh, educate us on the, uh, the dangers of uh, electronic craziness out there. I know it's like every time I would like read all these articles about 5G and it's like, oh, it's so great. It's so great. And I'm like, and then there's these other articles that are like, uh, can we like slow down a little bit? It hasn't been tested and there's a lot of negative stuff. And uh, yeah, so whatever you can do to um, take care of yourself as best you can, let's face it, we're still going to be uh, exposed to it. But if you can mitigate it, then that's, that's, yeah. I guess, the goal, right? Yeah, and there are some people who just literally have to really find a place where they have to go to where there is nothing at. So they can actually live and survive and breathe because it's so intense, their sensitivity. So I think that, you know, I think we're all, most of us, I would say 80% of our population is sensitive at some level. We're just not paying attention to it and we're, we're diagnosing it as it's something else. Right. Well, with that being said, (laughs) (laughs) we've got people like you out there who are, you know, spreading the word and, uh, you know, so do your research folks. And if you feel inclined to, um, you know, connect with Sharonata. Um, so I guess the best place is your, your website, Corellia creations.com. Is that? Yeah. And you can reach out to me on Instagram at Corellia creations. I, um, I have a page there that I've been starting it up again and then on of course Facebook. So, and you can, um, email me as well from the, you know, on the website. So if you have any questions or anybody, you know, wants to learn anything else or about product or anything, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you out. I have very long conversations with my customers. (laughs) (laughs) Go figure. (laughs) How do you learn? (laughs) (laughs) But all these beautiful bracelets, we have chakra bracelets. We have this great stuff and it's so exciting. It's so exciting to be able to, you know, we're very, not a lot of people have children's jewelry. We actually have, um, some very small sizes for kids Mm -hmm. and for petite adults. So that's very helpful too. And for pets. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Awesome. That's Mm -hmm. right. We do need to protect our pets too, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We have to protect our pets. Yes. Awesome. All right, my dear. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad I was able to have you on. I've been wanting to have you on for a very long time. And so I'm so glad. Thank you so much. I appreciate it too. Thank you, Gloria. And looking so forward to, you know, doing things in the future with you as always. Absolutely. And thank you, everyone, for watching today and listening. Um, And I appreciate you as well. And make sure that you do check out Sharonata's website. I'll have that in the show notes for those of you who are listening to this. Um, And uh, as always, I encourage you to leave us a review. If you go to podchaser.com forward slash live, love, engage, I would love to get a review. Let me know what you think about the show. And until next time, as always, I encourage you to go out and live fully, love deeply, and engage authentically.